Hitler wanted to build Germania or Germania, the capital of the world. And uh, here it is. This is a part of the scale model, which is much bigger. And there he is, together with Albert Speer, looking at the scale model of Germania. And in fact, the scale model of Germania is full of New World Order symbols as the obelisk and the octagon. So and that's why Mr. Hitler said uh, one people, one empire, and one Führer, one leader. Uh, this is the New World Order, one mixed world with one pharaonic leader. So here we can see Germania, the scale model, the maquette, with the uh, pharaonic sun hieroglyph four times in the door, in the wood behind. This Nazi maquette or scale model was made by Albert Speer. Hitler, Hitler's architect and it was Hitler himself who had drawn it as he already did this in the beginning of the 20th century in Vienna in Austria and Hitler was indeed an intelligent man and a fine artist who knew perfectly well the meaning of the obelisk and the octagon for which he is responsible here in the world capital of Germania as the obelisk is the symbol of the pharaonic domination he proves here that Octagon, Switzerland, is the base of the pharaohs. Just as Hitler's grandfather, Mr. Frankenberger, was of true pharaonic descent. And by putting the obelisk in the Octagon in Germania is his way of expressing his gratitude to his finances from Octagon, Switzerland, who financed him from 1923 on. So here's Mr. Hitler with the Swiss police and the Swiss army. You can see the uniforms there with the guy with the gun in his pocket. In Switzerland, 1923, from then on, they uh, kept on financing him. On this occasion, it was 30,000 Swiss francs, which is about half a million dollars today. They did it. Octagon did it. And Mr. Hitler confesses that the Nazis were in fact the order of the Templars of Octagon, the Nazi Templars to whom he belonged. And because the Nazi Templars of Octagon were all of the pharaonic Per A nobility, he has put the obelisk and pharaonic symbol in the middle of Octagon of the Templars, Switzerland. The Templars were no monks. These are not things monks do. They don't kill and, and, and murder and lie and, and pillage. They were all noblemen. And as they were all second or third sons, they were not entitled to the castle, the land, the power and the concubines. They got absolutely nothing. So these poor noblemen traditionally went into a monastery. And it was here where these poor aristocrats got organised and call themselves the poor monks of the temple instead. You see the link? The poor noblemen and the poor monks. They organized themselves with the priests of Amun and decided to create their own kingdom, Octogon of Switzerland on August the 1st, 1291. But for a kingdom you need money and gold, so they decided to get what, what was theirs from their pyramids, hidden under the sand, the Templars' treasure. So the, uh, the grave robbers were in fact them, themselves. And as they were not many enough, they convinced the stupid Europeans and their children, as we can see here, and there were children's crusades, you know, to get rid of them, to come along and that some holy city called Jerusalem needed to be saved. Just as Mr. Saddam Hussein had um, so-called weapons of mass destruction, well in fact the NATO and the Americans they use weapons of mass destruction against the Iraqi people and in Afghanistan, in Libya, while they're using depleted uranium, which is a weapon of mass destruction. 
And when they finally had all their gold from Egypt, they betrayed the European Crusaders to Saladin, who was one of them. Then, immediately after, with so many European men dead, the European women had no defence, and the witch hunt on good European women could start. By the Swiss Inquisition and their Swiss manual, the Maleus Maleficarum, or Witch's Hammer, written by two Swiss from Octogon, Switzerland, Heinrich Kramer and Inquisitores Jacobus Sprenger. So this is Octogon, Switzerland, with Hitler's pharaonic obelisk in the middle, in the capital of the world, Germania. And don't you think that the Nazi Templars of Octogon, Switzerland, lost the war? Think of the paperclip organization and the US. Germany lost the war, just as the Crusaders did. Betrayed by the pharaonic Nazi Templars from Octogon, Switzerland. But the Nazis didn't lose the war. They got everything they wanted. The gold brought it to Switzerland, laundered it, and they're still here with their banks. Switzerland did it. Uh, this very important discovery of Hitler's obelisk in the octagon was done by user Wahrheitsbewegung, that means uh, truth movement from Nuremberg, Germany.